Welcome to Space Verse, your portal to cosmic adventures. The destruction of a planet can sometimes be seen in the light it leaves behind. A final, lingering brilliance, a cosmic echo of a world's end. Every year, scientists from around the world compete for precious time on the James Webb Space Telescope. Their proposals must pass a rigorous evaluation, reviewed, scrutinized, and prioritized. Only the most promising ideas make it onto Webb's schedule. But space doesn't always operate on a schedule. Some of the most dramatic and fleeting events in the cosmos, like gamma-ray bursts or supernovae, don't come with a calendar invite. They strike without warning. That's where the concept of a target of opportunity or two comes in. It's a special type of observation, one that researchers prepare in advance. Just in case the universe decides to surprise us. And now, one of Webb's first two programs has delivered something remarkable. Astronomers have been watching a star, a very unusual star. It had shown signs of having consumed one of its own planets. But what really happened? Previous observations suggested the star had expanded outward, engulfing a nearby planet in a fiery embrace. A dramatic, yet somewhat expected fate for aging stars. But Webb's powerful infrared eyes have revealed a different, and even more haunting, scenario. The star didn't swell to consume the planet. No, the planet's orbit shrank, spiraling slowly but inevitably toward destruction. Its doom wasn't sudden. It was gradual, inescapable, and then it was gone. Using the MIRI and NERSPEC instruments aboard Webb, scientists were able to peer into the aftermath to study the remains of this planetary demise with stunning clarity. Lead researcher Dr. Ryan Lau of NSF's Noir Lab in Tucson, Arizona, described the uncertainty leading into the observation. We weren't sure what we were going to find, he said. This kind of event is so new, so rarely seen. But what they found was profound, a glimpse into the death of a world, and perhaps a preview of our own solar system's distant future. Thanks to Webb's unmatched infrared vision, we're beginning to piece together the story of planetary death and in doing so, learning more about the fate of worlds, stars, and the very fabric of cosmic evolution. Because out there in the vastness of space, even in death, planets have something to tell us. All we have to do is listen. Limiting the manor. Roughly 12,000 light years away from Earth, nestled deep within the majestic spirals of the Milky Way galaxy, a cosmic mystery unfolded, one that would challenge everything we thought we knew about how stars and planets meet their end. At the center of this extraordinary event lies a seemingly ordinary star. But what astronomers discovered was anything but ordinary. The phenomenon, officially designated ZTSR in 2020, was first spotted as a sudden, unexpected optical flash in the night sky. It was observed at the Palomar Observatory in San Diego, California, a site home to the Zwicky Transient Facility, operated by Caltech. But that flash, it was only the tip of the iceberg. Long before that burst of visible light, something else had already begun, hidden from our eyes. NASA's NEOWISE, the Near-Earth Object Wide Field Infrared Survey Explorer, had detected a strange and growing infrared signal. A glow, invisible to human sight, hinting at the presence of newly formed dust. This was no ordinary stellar brightening. The early analysis, released in 2023, suggested a familiar story, a sun-like star evolving into a red giant. A slow, predictable process. Hydrogen fuel running low the star expanding outward over hundreds of thousands of years. A narrative we thought we understood. But then came Webb. Using the Mid-Infrared Instrument, or MIRI, aboard the James Webb Space Telescope, scientists peered deeper than ever before. Despite the cluttered backdrop of stars and gas, Webb's unmatched sensitivity cut through the cosmic noise. And what it revealed was something different. The star wasn't as bright in the infrared as a red giant should be. That meant one thing, the planet nearby hadn't been swallowed whole by the expanding star, as previously believed. Something else had happened. Something far more dramatic. So, what did happen? Scientists now believe the doomed planet once orbited its star at a distance, even closer than Mercury is to our own sun. 
a gas giant roughly the size of Jupiter, spiraling ever inward over millions of years. A gravitational dance that would end in destruction. Eventually, the planet's atmosphere brushed the stars. That contact was the beginning of the end. Morgan McLeod of the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics and MIT put it plainly. From that point on, the descent became an uncontrollable race against time. As the planet fell, it began to stretch, to smear, pulled apart by the star's immense gravity. It was no longer orbiting, it was spiraling in. And in its final moments, the planet slammed into the star's outer layers, blowing off massive amounts of stellar gas. That gas, rich in heavy elements, spread outward and cooled over time, eventually forming a shroud of icy dust, a funeral veil for a lost world. In the vast silence of space, where stars are born and die in cosmic cycles, astronomers continue to uncover mysteries that defy expectations. This is one of those moments. As scientists turn the powerful near-infrared spectrograph, better known as NERSPEC, aboard the James Webb Space Telescope toward the aftermath of a planetary engulfment, they expected to find a quiet cloud of cooler, expanding gas. A cosmic grave marker for a once-orbiting planet. But what they found was something far more complex. NERSPEC revealed a hot, dense circumstellar disk of molecular gas spinning tightly around the star. This was no passive cloud, it was a dynamic, high-energy structure. And within it, Webb's astonishing spectral resolution identified key molecules like carbon monoxide and others, painting a vivid picture of the material left behind. This was not what they expected. Dr. Colette Salek, an exoplanet researcher from Vassar College and co-author of The New Findings, shared her surprise. She remarked, Although planets are not forming here, I must admit that seeing what looks like a planet-forming region in the aftermath of an engulfment was quite unexpected. It's as though the universe left behind a false echo, a disk that resembles a nursery for newborn planets, yet exists in the wake of destruction. These new clues are helping scientists reconstruct what happens when a planet is swallowed by its star. The ability to chemically map and characterize the leftover gas offers something truly rare, direct evidence of what takes place after the chaos has settled. Dr. Lau, another researcher on the team, put it plainly. This is the only one we've seen in action. It's the clearest window we have into the aftermath of such an event. But we're optimistic this is just the beginning. The data was collected as part of Webb's Guaranteed Time Observation Program 1240, a mission specifically crafted to study sudden, mysterious spikes in infrared brightness, phenomena astronomers have long observed, but never fully understood. These fleeting flashes, like stellar flares, nova eruptions, or planet-star collisions, happen without warning. That's why programs like this are so important. They're called Target of Opportunity Programs, designed to drop everything and point the telescope the moment something strange appears in the sky. And they work. NASA's space telescopes, including Webb, are now part of a global, coordinated effort, an astronomical early warning system that alerts researchers around the world when the cosmos decides to act up. But the story doesn't end here. On the horizon are two groundbreaking missions, the Vera C. Rubin Observatory and NASA's Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope. These powerful observatories will scan vast portions of the sky over and over again, watching for subtle changes and new outbursts, ready to catch these rare cosmic events the moment they begin. With their help, scientists hope to build a larger sample of planetary engulfment aftermaths, so we can move from surprises to understanding. Because in the end, every fleeting burst of light in the darkness brings us closer to answering one of the universe's oldest questions. What happens? when a world ends. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this glimpse into the cosmos, like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more space discoveries.